For the final squad in this video, first 11, you'll need one loyalty in that squad. And there's no way to do it without loyalty, guys. But I still used the lowest amount of loyalty possible to help you guys out. Hope you enjoy the video. What is going on, everybody, and welcome to a brand new squad building challenge guide on my channel. My name is Sean, aka Elite. And guys, we've got hybrid leagues today. We did hybrid nations yesterday. We're doing league and nation hybrid tomorrow. All I ask in return, guys, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if it helps you out. Let's get right into it. We're going to start off with the Give Me 5 SBC. This one is super simple and straightforward, but you can use a bunch of bronzes and silvers already in your club. You probably don't need too much help with this one. I'll show you the players I used. You can copy the formula, but realistically, you just need to get a country like England where you can just easily get five different leagues and throw in a bunch of random bronze silvers and gold cards uh, in which you have six rare cards so we're going with Stevenson goal we went with Tanzer at left wing back lay is actually a CDM out of position we only need 69 rating and 80 chemistry it is very, very easy to complete. Um, Pearson's going to be our center mid at left mid. We're going with Mick Curdy because left wings are actually cheaper, uh, especially for rare cards. Uh, and then we've got Lingard in the middle at discard price. Sokka is pretty close to discard price. Cannon and Palmer finish off that squad. Very simple. You get a prime mixed players pack in return for this squad, which is not a great pack. Don't get me wrong, but it's also super easy to complete that squad building challenge. So we're going to go ahead and open up that pack. Realistically, you're doing the hybrid leagues for the final three packs. The first two are actually not all that great, uh, but we still do get Danny Olmo out of that pack, which isn't terrible. Um, Carrillo. Oh, that's actually a pretty solid pack. We got uh, quite a few more rares than I was expecting. I guess it is a prime mixed players pack. So you could actually get something decent out of that pack, but uh, unfortunately we didn't get anything great. We'll just go ahead and send all of these players to the club and then we'll head in to the next squad building challenge. Next up, we've got seven league boots, which gives you a prime Electrum players pack. In my opinion, the rewards for the first two windows on hybrid leagues is better than the rewards on hybrid nations, which we did yesterday, which by the way, we had an insane poll in that video. So make sure to watch it. This one needs seven leagues, a maximum from uh, the same league is three. And it also says the maximum from one club is three, which is just repetitive because if I had four players from one club, that would also be four players from the same league. But I don't know why EA just put that in there as well. 78 overall rating and 85 chemistry is needed. So a little bit more difficult than the give me five SBC. But pretty simple and very, very cheap, guys. You can just go pretty much all non-rare golds. Uh, we do have one rare gold in here on Yakuru, 75 rating. Every single card in this team, bar Julian, who I got for a thousand coins, they're all 650 coins. Every single one of them 650, except for Julian, who was a thousand, which will probably go back down to 650 soon enough anyway. We're gonna go, uh, and goalkeeper is Kostil. We're gonna go Koscielny at center back, Julian at center back, and then we're gonna go Le Normand at center back, the 78 rated one. Valbuena is gonna be at left mid. Then at center mid, we're gonna go with Nzonzi. Kapui at center mid, and then at right mid, we're going with Chukwezi. Anya Kuru is going to be up at left wing at striker. We've got ourselves Alassane Playa, and then Moses is going to finish off the squad at right wing. We get way more chemistry than we need. 78 rating is what we need. Let's go ahead and open this pack, which is going to give us 12 players, six of them gold, six of them silver, and then we also get six rares. So on average, you'll get three rare golds out of this pack, which is on par with a 25k pack, and hopefully we can get something, but it doesn't look like we got any board drop here. It's going to be James Madison, who I assume doesn't sell for more than 2,000 coins. So unfortunately, the pack luck is not here yet. And unbelievably, out of the six rares, I only got one rare gold card, which is super unfortunate. Now, maybe some of those silvers will sell. I'll send them to the transfer list. But uh, that is so unlucky that I only got one rare gold out of all of that. The next squad is the whole nine yards, which is an 80 rated squad and you need 99 chemistry. So this one is a little bit more difficult and I go with an 83 in the squad, Burn Leno, to actually make it cheaper to go with a bunch of the other guys. You need exactly nine leagues. You can have more, you can't have less. Players from the same league, max two. Again, one club, max two. Uh, rare players is six 
and then uh, as I said, 80 rating, 99 chemistry. So a lot more difficult than the first two. We're gonna go Burned Leno in goal right now. He's actually quite cheap, only 2,000 coins for an 83. As the year goes on, that could rise a little bit, but generally it's a goalkeeper, so it'll probably stay low for an 83. Next up, we've got Marcelo. At left back, he's only about a thousand coins. Same for Paulista and Gabriel as well, uh, only about a thousand coins. Next up at right back, we're going Danilo, who's about two thousand right now. Everton at left midfielder right there is about a thousand, and then at center mid, G uh, Bruno Guimeros is a uh, discard price player. Rafael Carioca. Uh, at center defensive mid, we're going Tete at right mid. Vinicius at striker is discard price. And then Teixeira is actually about 2,000 coins. So a couple of these guys are slightly inflated, but still a pretty cheap squad considering the rewards you get. You do get a 35k pack for completing this squad. In the uh, Hybrid Nations SBC, the third window is where we got our good pack. So hopefully our pack luck can continue now. 30 players or 30 cards, probably about a... You know, a few players. It's going to be a board drop. It's a Croatian board drop. It's only Kovacic, unfortunately. A pretty bad pack for a 35K. Anything else in here? Nothing in this pack. Uh, I guess Regulon is, uh, he's about 4,000 coins. So something, at least. Hunter card, that's uh, also something all right. But uh, overall, pretty bad pack. First 11 is a very tough SBC because it needs loyalty. And in this squad, you only need one loyalty. There are a couple ways to make it a little bit cheaper with 11 loyalty, but I decided let's use one loyalty. It makes it easier on you guys. Some of you might already have one of these cards packed in your club. Um, so if you have them packed already, as long as you have one of these guys packed, it'll work. Or you have to play 10 matches with one of the cards, guys. So that is the way you get loyalty. Any Anyways, we're going to start it off on goalkeeper, which is Areola. Uh, we do need 11 different leagues with eight rare players, uh, all gold, obviously, and then 100 chemistry, which is very tough. Now, out of everybody in this team, there are a few that go for about 2,000 coins, but this guy right here, 5,000 is what I had to pay for him, so he's a little bit more expensive at left back. Uh, the rest of the squad is pretty cheap. Gigo is pr pretty close to discard price. Uh, a couple guys that are uh, 2,000, a um, couple guys that are really cheap, like Mukiele, and Mukiele LA is the guy in this squad for me that has loyalty. I actually have loyalty on Gigo as well, uh, so I have one more chemistry than I need, but all you need is to have one loyalty, and the way to tell you have loyalty is you see that green badge on the card. That's if they have loyalty, and it'll give you plus one chemistry. Um, so, Nkudu is going to be our left mid. At center mid, we're going with uh, Matuidi. Then we're going to go with Bakayoko at CDM. At center mid, we're going to go with Fofana. At right mid, we're going to go with Talvin. And up top, we're going to go with Alessandrini. Please note, guys, uh, if you don't have, uh, if you only have one loyalty, you'll need to position change Matuidi. You also will probably have to position change Talvin and maybe Mukiele as well. Uh, but the position change card should hopefully not be too much. And there we have it. Completed it. Rare players pack in return along with completing the entirety of the SBC, which gives us a 55K pack. So technically 105K worth of packs we're about to open right now. Hopefully we can get one card that's just really, really good. We'll open the 55K pack first and then we'll open the 50K pack. So this is just like the 35K, except for it's all rare cards this time. And it's gonna be a board drop. It's only a Cunha though, so not a very good pull. Again, pretty bad pack. Our pack luck in this episode has not been very good. But we do get Anthony Martial, so we'll take that. It is a 16K card right there, so pretty solid, actually. Uh, he's extinct. Well, he's close to extinct at 16K right now. We'll send him to the transfer list. We'll take a Martial. Uh, a couple of 83s and 84s there, but overall, uh, nothing too crazy. No Kevin De Bruyne's in this pack. The big finale, 50K pack. That's 12 rare gold cards. Please, EA, hook me up with a nice walkout here. Hook me up with something big. All right, come on, something big. Something big, something huge. It's a board, it's not a walkout, and it's a Cerebi. That's so terrible. Ah, oh, all right, guys. Well, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. We did at least get, I guess, Gabriel Jesus in that pack, so another Premier League striker that's kind of meta. Guess it could have been worse. Thank you so much for watching, guys. A lot of other resources are on the YouTube channel, like trading tips, other squad building challenge guides, and more, so make sure to check those out. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.